Hello guys, this is Thomas from Polyphoria. Today I'm very proud to showcase you our first port of medieval NPC over to the Unity Asset Store. Let's take a closer look at what we have now here for you. Okay, I'm gonna hit the play button and as you can see um, the whole character is skinned correctly to the, to the Unity avatar definition. It also works on multiple people and here you can see a variety of our modular character parts. Okay, let's take a closer look how our component architecture works. A complete character is a representation of multiple prefabs, which you always will have here in different folders. In the prefabs, there are character exemplars, elements, and the meshes itself. Okay, let's take a closer look how a modular character is composed. I'm gonna drag and drop here a full character. As you can see, there's a modular character script attached. In this script, there are different prefabs attached to it. There's a remove and a find button. It's when you hit the find button, you're gonna select the prefab, which is here connected. I'm gonna put the head in, and here is the modular character element script attached. In this element script, you're gonna define a type of slot, which is an arbitrary number. You can expand this, and you can add it to your own system and change parts however it fits your need. It's just exemplary and feel free to add things. So this is a head example and nothing else is blocked. Sometimes you want to have blocked slots. For example, if you want to equip a medieval knight helmet and then you don't want to uh, showcase the hair pieces, then you would put in here, for example, the hair blocked slot. They are blend shape triggers and blend shape receivers. I can easily show this here on this character. As you can see, he has gloves equipped right now, and these gloves are sticking through the chest pieces because sometimes you need some more dynamic on these chest pieces itself. So, and in the gloves prefab, there is, or oh, let me drag and drop this prefab in. Prefab element, and I'm gonna drag here the gloves. And here's a blend shape trigger. The, bl the blend shape trigger triggers the morph targets gloves equipped. And this blend shape is here on the chest piece when you go in the mesh itself. Here, as you can see, is gloves equipped. And this is activated when you hit the play button when the whole baking process starts. The baking process puts all prefab parts together under one single skeleton, as you can easily see here. Let me just select our little guy. Now in the viewport, Let me put the morph target back. Voila. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hit the play button. Okay, and as you can see here, let me just make the project browser a little bit smaller. Oops. Okay, and as you can see here, no sticking through is happening because the logic is now triggered and the morph target is activated. And this is how the blend shape receivers and triggers are working. We have here in this element, in I'm gonna find the prefab now. Let me open this one. And here's the modular character element script. And this triggers the morph target gloves equipped. You can do this on multiple variations between the apparels sometimes you have a rope equipped or sometimes you have hair under the head and you can there define different types of positions on the same mesh. It's just one way to work with a modular character system. Okay, so what else do we have here? We also added a tinting system. As you can see, here are some examples of our material variations. Here's the material for MA Medieval Chest Citizen 01A. As you can see here, there's a tint mask included with an RGBA tint. And you can easily activate it when you turn on the alpha channel. It starts um, to apply the tint. You can change here the color to the parts you want to change. You can make it purple and the intensity is like also a multiplier on top. I do recommend to not go too high with it. Um, it just helps if you start with a 
pretty dark base value from your albedo texture, then the intensity is simply like a multiplier on top of it. Okay, and this works as well on different uh, tint channels here, as you can see. There are two types of tint textures. There's Here's an RGBA, for example. I'm gonna turn that off again. G just simply the alpha down. And for the more complex costumes, for example, this guy, you also have a CMYK on top. So then, then you would have seven tint channels uh, for the whole costume part. And this apply for all different types of apparels. You can also do this on the head, for example, or here on the lady. Let's select the lady. Voila, this can be tinted. Same applies here for this part. Green is maybe not the best suit for this one. Let's go a little bit more white. Yes, here we go. And here you can make the shirt dark. It depends however you want to change the colors of your medieval character. All right, let's reset this. Get back to the, to the basic material. Okay, and as mentioned before, this works on all pieces. Feet, shoes, chest, hair. Here are some ex examples. Some female robes for um, villagers, for the males as well. Some feet variations, some legs. Here's for example a beggar leg. Here's a beggar chest. Female citizens, more rich clothing. Ah, and here are our heads. With the heads, we just use one master head, which comes with um, four different blend shapes to create variations out of your heads. Feel free, you can export this, you can add multiple morph targets. Just make sure to leave the cranium as at its basic position, that you don't get any intersections between the hair and the uh, head pieces as well. It gives you just a good starting point for your prototype or as a base where you can build up on. Same applies also with our uh, head materials. The head materials, I'm gonna select it now. Voila. And here you can also put different types of materials on the heads. They are gonna share the same UV mapping. And you can for sure also change here again the skin tint intensity. You can change these parts, same with the lips and also with the power. It depends how you want to alter these. Okay, so there are a few example NPCs included in the prefabs character folder. You can create a variety out of these. It's a good starting point right now. Also all the different kind of elements which you're gonna get here. Some tools are added as well. And I was also putting these together in a little render template. You can see just the texture quality, how close you can come with these. Yeah, that's the texture quality. And I would say it's gonna work pretty good. This product is only for Unity um, HDRP pipeline. So please keep that in mind. In case you are interested in this product, we don't support the URP or scriptable render pipelines and all your shaders had to be ported over by yourself if you uh, intend to do that. The shader graphs are included. They are in the shader folder. If you go to shader, HDAP and here are also all the shader graphs. All right, that's it from my set for now. I hope you guys are all pretty happy now. We had a huge amount of customers asking for us to bring this product over to Unity. We finally did it now and we hope you like it. Feel free to contact us in case you have any questions and we're gonna wish you all a great day. Adios. Ciao, ciao.